Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be an interesting video because I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we are in the middle of the coronavirus right now. And so I decided because I have so much time off from work and we really can't travel anywhere or do anything or be anywhere or be around anyone, <laughs> I decided that I want to just rearrange my room, just give it a brand new, just like look and feel to it, kind of like a makeover. We're gonna see how long this is gonna take. This is day one. I have planned on going to Home Depot. I have already measured everything, but yeah, Let's see what we get accomplished today. So this is what my room currently looks like. The only thing that I did not record is an ugly ass AC that was there that is no longer in this clip, but you will see in the next. This is my before situation with my window. Please do not mind the dusty ass AC in the corner there. It came with the room. So what you guys are gonna see me do here is put up a shelf support. I'm going to use that as additional support for the tabletop that I made myself. I went to Home Depot and I bought two pieces of wood and I went ahead and connected them with this piece of metal only because like Home Depot has its restrictions on how they cut wood and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much what you guys see me do here. Okay, so, so far I've put the matte finishes on my window so that no one outside can see what I'm doing in here. And then I've also so far drilled down the table on here. I haven't done anything else yet. It does need a little bit more support. So that's where we're at now. This is day two of this bullshit now at this point. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm just sanding everything down. I use the spray foam that like expands to cover up any of like the holes. And then I also used it to like kind of just like make the rest here because i had the ac on before and i didn't take the right measurements silly me so here i am building this thing now but this is so far what it looks like so i already waited a day for the putty to dry down what you guys are gonna see me doing here is sanding down the putty to level out the tabletop and then as I'm sanding it down, I am noticing that there are some like holes um, that I didn't put enough putty in. So uh, what I'm doing here is just correcting that. So you guys are gonna see me just sand this down and then add putty to go ahead and correct those mistakes. And then hopefully just wait for that to dry to then go ahead and sand it down one last time. And hopefully that is the last time that I'm sanding down. After everything dried up, I am going ahead and painting it, finally. Yeah, I just bought regular white paint at Home Depot. Actually, now looking at this clip, I, I know it doesn't look white, but I swear that's what the box, the little thing said that it, listen, it's white. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's white paint. Enjoy this. <laughs> In the footage you guys are about to see now, you guys are gonna see me just rearranging my room. I end up moving the dresser that I ended up taking the mirror off of. I'm not sure if I recorded me taking down the mirror off or anything like that, but I ended up taking that mirror off of the dresser and putting it in the corner where I built my little table. But yeah, I moved that dresser from one end of the room to the other. I know you guys see that wallpaper there that's not going to be there i eventually take that down and i'm pretty much just centering um that dresser with my tv so that it can kind of just like center my room and during this quarantine time if you're not drinking what are you really doing the next thing you guys are going to see me do is move over my bed to the only corner that i have in my room that is literally the only functioning corner that i have in that room as of now so i move it there i did place a order for a platform bed so that will give me the illusion of a bigger more open space in my room considering that the bed will be dropped down a lot lower and then i do end up moving that big ass mirror that you guys see in the corner over there so kudos to me 
unfortunately i wasn't able to get footage of me putting up the curtains but pretty much what i did here was i just put two curtain rods up and put up two sheer white curtains on them so they can kind of sort of center the dresser that you guys see there and then all you guys are going to see me do now is put up fairy lights behind them so it could give it kind of like that glowy feel to them what you guys are going to see me do now is just drill down a shelf so that it can support my tv i would mount the tv but that's way too much money and i don't even know if my wall can handle a tv now i finally got my bed my bed came in and it was relatively easy to assemble i honestly didn't need any help building it but moving the mattress <laughs> from one bed to the other was a freaking task and a half i literally it took me like an hour maybe maybe like 45 minutes to actually build the bed frame and then it took me like six hours to figure out how to move my mattress from one bed to the other so yeah this is just a clip of me building my bed i also want to let you guys know that the the bed frame is from wayfair as well as a chair that I placed in order for that I'm still expecting. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished product. I ended up putting up a shelf to hold a few things. Literally everything on the table is from Target, chair from Wayfair, the curtains with the lights, and the dresser that no longer has a mirror. Excuse the flooring, fucking hate them. My platform bed, sitting nicely. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching.